I think the challenge for many people advancing down the spiritual path is one of subconscious resistance to change. You wake up and find you've created a life, perhaps over many years, and now you realize you have to change it. Perhaps it's a marriage where your lives are interconnected, or a career supporting your way of living, or you need to change your entire lifestyle. But the mountain seems just too tall. The problem is you're at point A, and you know you've got to get to point Z, and it looks too enormous to be possible. Why is that? It's because all the mind can focus on is point Z, overlooking that there are many smaller steps to getting there. So we can only see the enormity of the challenge, something that seems just too far out, too out of reach, too incredible, and so many never even begin. The point is, you don't have to cross the mountain in one giant leap. Think about it. When Neil Armstrong stepped onto the moon and delivered his one giant leap speech, in fact it wasn't one giant leap at all. It was actually the culmination of millions of small steps. What about the people that imagined going to the moon even as the Wright brothers first took to flight? What about all the brilliant minds and engineers who seriously started to consider it possible? What about all the hours building, testing, failing, yet getting back up time and time and time again? What about all the other unsung heroes working tirelessly in the background that actually got Armstrong to the moon in the first place? So it wasn't one giant leap at all. It was a feat of hundreds of thousands, perhaps even millions of small steps that got in there. And so it's the same for you in your life. You can cross that hurdle. You can climb that mountain no matter how big it is. Why? Because it wouldn't have appeared on your path. You wouldn't have drawn it to you if it wasn't possible. But the key is not to figure out how to jump the mountain in one giant leap. It is to figure out only the next step. Then to have the courage to take it. When you don't even know if it'll get you somehow, eventually to where you need to be. And it's not about efforting or struggling to envision all the steps. That just builds identity and ego. You've got to trust in the divine that the universe will always come to meet you. When you take such a step with commitment and passion, you'll find something miraculous happens. The whole landscape will shift positively in your direction. So when you're faced with a seemingly enormous mountain to cross, my advice is use the vision of the end game only as a target by which to know your direction. But then look intently for the first step. That's all you need, the first step. Take it and everything will move with you. Even the mountain itself may move. <laughs>